screen. Are you here yet? Chris, it tells you if I'm in here. Like, dog, maybe I blinked or something. I don't know. Shit, don't be working. What do you say? The game crashed. Well, it's uncrashed. Well, it's uncrashed, right? Yeah. Get them chicks in here. <laughs> the zombie mommy showed it waits for no one. No! <laughs> so dumb. Welcome to the first and last episode of the show that we do <laughs> together. <laughs> you, you, you were gonna say it though, huh? I'm not saying that. <laughs> Uh, we're playing Hermitage Strange Case Files. I think the logo looks a little dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Just call it out on your shit, why don't you? Look, I'm just saying, like, uh, I know what they're going for, but... You ever gonna finish uploading White Day? I don't know if I'm going to. You do this every time we play a game. Oh, oh look, you upload, what? Like, no, White Day is different. And then White Day like... is different because, no. <laughs> no, it is. White Day is totally different. Why? Because it's such... Do you know what it feels like to sit there and watch all of that content that isn't content? It's It, it drags. What the fuck is this? <laughs> we bought the wrong game. <laughs> she keeps her eyes closed. She can't forget what happened, because something still lingers in the air. Well then just make an episode of White Day. That like just says moments episode? from White Day. Okay. I'll do that. <laughs> anger, maybe? No, it's not just anger. Maybe it's regret. A jumble of thoughts sweep sweeps through her mind, and the icy air is burning her cheeks. What is this? Like, what is this? Like, <laughs> it means her face imagery. Oh, this imagery? I don't know. It looks like we're like a... Uh... With, with the words. Like, what is this? It's everything. Flying is more difficult than she thought. Looks like her soul didn't sprout wings after all. Somehow, it's like she's still here. She feels relieved at the thought. And thus, the game begins. Do. Huh. Gotta knock the fuck out. The world goes on, and the clock is ticking steadily. The world doesn't owe anything to anyone, so it won't listen to anyone's request. Even praying won't turn bad things into good things all of a sudden. Therefore, those who expect a lot from the world should over should overthink their attitude. If she's dead as hell, yeah, well, I guess, was, well, bam. She get knocked the fuck out. I guess so. Uh, the, the, man, uh, alright. There's no joy, no sorrow, just emptiness. So just a heads up, this like game, she... this game might be a little bit of a downer. Go I don't ahead. like the way she's proportioned. She's proportioned? What do you mean? She's proportioned right, I think. She probably is, but I just, I don't know. It's... I don't know if it's just like the way the picture's coming over across the screen or something. But yeah. the top half of her body looks extremely large in comparison to her leg in like lower body section. Uh, like I get it. Like 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 we're at the angle of like where her head is, and we're so probably like, at I, a certain angle. Where her so head what would have made it better? And this isn't this isn't me like coming down on the art because there it's good. It's just that leg that is coming up. Uh, should be a bit thicker because it's the same like length as the other leg that is. Going all the way back. I think that leg needs to be splayed out a bit more. Like we should be seeing like a whole like a whole like thigh like on its side, but we're just seeing like the same thing. It's it's a small thing. It's not a big deal. Taylor's just a bit asshole. Okay. I try to warn everybody. No one listens to me. What? Okay. Uh, I don't know how to show the text again. Uh, what? I can't. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Because well, <laughs> hide hide is one button, but then when I, I pressing it again doesn't bring it back. You have to press X. The world feels heavy on her shoulders. She feels heavy on the world, mommy. 
I didn't read that. At the Cinnabar. I did yeah, at the Cinnabar. The Cinnabar gym? This is your mentor. Okay. This is my mentor? It's me? Yeah. Long story short, we will focus all our energy on the preparations for this project. Although it will take place next semester, every day we slack off now means that the other art clubs have one more day to catch up to us. Keep in mind that our elite art club has a reputation to uphold. It is essential that we are victorious in the future. I love that show. I know it's unusual <laughs> for me to push you guys so hard. <laughs> and I realize some of you might be uncomfortable with that. Me being a pitch black figure and all. Think it over carefully. For your own good. I don't want any more incidents this year. That's all. Any questions? Well then don't do oil paintings! If he ain't got the money for it, you just can't do it! Or you'll, you'll work for the money for it. Like what oil, the oil is expensive. Oh, you're reading this, what do you mean? Don't leave me hanging. Oh, I'm reading this? You yeah. didn't say this was my club you're, member. You're club member B. That's a club member, that's a tailored ass girl if I've ever seen one. What about the materials? <gasps> if we're going to do oil paintings, <laughs> the paint will be very expensive. Don't laugh. That won't be a problem. Uh, your new classmate doesn't have any materials yet. Does she? I'll prepare some for her. Um, I saw her with some art, art supplies today. That's right. Let her use her own supplies. So, there's no need to worry about it, is there? Who are these bullies? Guys. Well, you can figure out a suitable solution amongst yourselves. That's all for today. I mean, no, if it's something that she's doing for the school, it should be funded and supplied by the school. Oil paintings are fucking expensive, so even if she has her own stuff, she shouldn't be bringing it to school. Uh, although, I guess if she wants to, she can. I did I did that in high school, because Harvard's boy sucked. The girl has a problem. She suffers from nightmares, even during the day. Even when it comes to such a renowned, flashy school, the shadows are still everywhere, lingering. They are relentless. This is like Taylor in high school. It took her a whole week to figure out where to hand in her homework. Nobody even considered offering her to help. The teachers always seem to be in a hurry after classes, avoiding contact with anyone. It is far from what she imagined. The te teachers probably get bullied too. Something must be wrong with her. At least that's what she always tells herself. That's why she came here in the first place. Her family moves around a lot, and she could never depend on her friends. The only thing she can depend on is her hobby. She doesn't like to talk, and as long as she doesn't have to, everything's fine. At least this school has an art club. If she doesn't need words, if she doesn't need words to go about her hobbies, presumably she won't need words to make friends, and that's what she thought. However, her expectations weren't met. Still... Still working on that piece? Just give up already. The girl's smile is mean. A prideful grimace to draw attention and show off to everyone around her. The painting is a little different from what she was imagining, but she's dealing with... Uh, with the past bit by bit, after all. The paint is still wet. But once it's dry, she will pay more attention to the details. Come on, just leave it! You can't participate in the, in the next event because you haven't done your part, understand? It doesn't really matter, anyway. The work should be more precise. You shouldn't have left... 
room for another line right there. Right here. I don't know who's saying this. Oh, leave her alone. Anyway, she's going to fall flat on her face anyway. Thinking she can play in the big leagues. Those mean words cut deep like a knife. And sadly, it's a daily occurrence. I wish she'd been more self-aware and I... <clears throat> I wish she'd been more self-aware and know what her place is. It's so annoying to have a newbie around. Come on, just let her sit here and rot, just like a mushroom. Haha. <laughs> what, what a bunch of bitches. Bye! Remember what you're supposed to do. They switch the lights. Uh, they switch off the lights as they leave. Forgetting the fact that there's still someone in the room. I don't think they forgot. Since there's only one window, the lighting in the art studio isn't exactly optimal. She doesn't feel like doing anything about it now. Obviously, the fact that they forgot that she wasn't in the room wasn't an accident. Gradually, everyone leaves the building and everything goes silent. Maybe mushrooms grow in silence, in isolation. She would prefer to be a mushroom right now. At least people aren't outright cruel to a mushroom. At most, they would casually crush it with one foot. That outcome doesn't seem so bad. What an odd thought to cross her mind. In novels, students who are confronted with events like this over and over again, the readers might laugh at the repetitiveness of the author's writing. However, not many people would continue laughing once events like this turn into a cruel reality for themselves. Only once did she manage to muster up the courage to speak out against the people ganging up on her, but it made no difference. She put a wall around herself for her own protection, her very own glass prison protecting her from the cruel outside world. The whole world is against her. At least, that's how she feels. In a novel, there would be two potential scenarios for her. Coming out of her shell and breaking the silence, or slowly but surely drowning in it. And she obviously doesn't have the right kind of personality for the former. The broom and the dustpan are gone. She isn't surprised at the prank and just quietly closes the cabinet. The classroom is more cluttered than ever and the crumpled up paper everywhere seems to be the trap that has been laid out for her today. She slowly picks up a piece of paper. Eventually they'll run out of ideas. Yeah. What's happening to you? Nothing. Go on. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. No, share with the class. I'm not doing anything. Go ahead, Taylor. I have no idea what you I've mean. Been, I've been wronged. What are you doing? Where? Here. I have no idea what you mean. Mm, Alright. Even if this young girl tries to deal with her emotions, the malice of the past doesn't look like it will disappear in the future. Even if she struggles to deal with her grief, the pain is relentless, taking up 24 hours every day. Even so, she doesn't give up. This is you, I'm making it you because you're acting up. Uh, these guys are really... Should I turn on the lights? The shadows disappear and the room grows warm again. I figured you'd still be in here. Let's go back together. 
the world goes on, and the clock keeps ticking. The world doesn't owe anything to anyone, so it won't listen to anyone's request. Even praying won't turn bad things into good things all of a sudden. Therefore, those who expect a lot from the world should overthink their attitude. Maybe that's why the moth is drawn to the flame. That one goes there, and this one. Okay, done. Oh no. What? I just looked up and I was all like, oh. <laughs> Are you, are you acting up in episode one? No, I'm actually fine. Are you acting up over 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 this guy, over the store manager? I was just taking off guard is all. I'm fine. As they play Smash Are you I was about to say, are you gonna make it through this game? I don't know if you're gonna make it through this game. They're already playing slot like soft jazz music. And you're 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 acting up over there. Imagine our eyes meet across the room. This is not what this kind of game is. <laughs> Becoming bashful. I look away. What is happening? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I like I like how even though you you made eye contact with this guy and you're like in, in, but in your fantasy, you're the shy one. You're the one that's like, ooh, go, ooh, go, ooh, ooh. Wolf howling. But in your fantasy, you're the you're the shy one. Okay. It really does. <laughs> what? what? Are you okay? No. I'm good. I'm good. Go ahead. I don't believe you. Go about your business. <laughs> it doesn't really fit. Many people simply grab. This isn't him. I get this is the narrator. I don't know. I don't get it. Many people simply grab books, flip through them, and then put them back. Of course, they don't check where the book originally was. As a GameStop employee, I get it. There's an open space where you take the case from. Just put it back there. Why are you placing it on other cases? This means everything. Well, what if the other cases fall over? Then it's an inconvenience to push everything out the way. You just put it back where it was. I don't. That it will never be that complicated. You take something. There's an empty space. And put it back. This means everything's an unorganized mess, with different genres and classifications thrown into one big, messy pile. Making sure everything is put back into its original place is probably more difficult than just placing it in the first, in the first free space you see. Alright, time for a break. There's no sense in asking too much of yourself. To be honest, I don't have a lot of confidence as a store manager, even though I've been doing this for the last six months. I had my doubts at first, but whatever. Gotta earn money somehow. The landlord's out for my blood. Hermitage isn't just an ordinary shop. If customers are only looking for something to satisfy their desire to read, most of them won't find what they're looking for here. The literature here, from the folklore of Japanese scholars in China, to propaganda transcripts of new religious groups in Southeast Asia, is piled up into a vast ocean of books that even the owner has lost his overview. Jesus. There's a lot of really obscure reading material here. And the only reasons why people stay here must either be the familiar smell of old books, or that they're looking for some very specific research material. There's always an interesting conversation to be had, though. But it 
doesn't seem like there are any new customers around today. After all, the storefront doesn't look that welcoming to strangers. The few regulars who come are either very quiet or have chatted way too much over the past few weeks, to the point that they don't have anything interesting left to say. The girl's hands rest on the edge of the bookshelf, and she's silently moving her lips while browsing through the books. Over the last few months, she's become a regular visitor. I like her. Quietness isn't a bad thing in and of itself, and she has always been polite and not annoying at all. I said that out of order, and not all at all, and not at all annoying. What's more, she once bought Voyagers of the Western Pacific in the shop, which instantly earned her some bonus points. I should try talking to her more often. I'm sure there's some good conversations to be had. I just need to finish my chores. We're playing the game! I think? What is this? What is this? What is it? What is this range? <laughs> Can I, do you want to look over here? Or do you want to look over there? Over here? Over there. Alright. Uh, I don't... What can you select? Oh, it's, I had to go through the dialogue. If I'm looking for information, I can always check out the bookcase. I don't need to know where the book's right now. If there's nothing else I can do, sometimes I go ahead and organize the shelves. There's still customers in the store, so I should do my job as a store manager first. A customer needs to have so, seems to have something to say. Auto saves. Okay. 